What's good everyone? Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, whatever. This is Jay Stacks and today um, is the long weighted mixing tutorials. Uh, I'm gonna do like basic mixing steps to show you how to like mix and or improve your mix. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Now I've just I've just made a beat or it might be one of my old beats and I'm gonna start mixing. People say, what do you do? Do you mix at the beginning or do you mix at the end? Me, I mix throughout the beat. Now, I purposely put all these sounds at the same level so you can hear what it sounds like now and you're gonna hear it throughout as I work on it. So today's lesson is volume. <laughs> As you can see, certain sounds are clearly overpowering. Like, for example, this square lead, I think, is clearly way too loud. So, what you're going to do is, even before I put them in the mixer, yeah, they're all in the mixer already. Now, I'm going to show you a quick shortcut to put everything in the mixer. Click, right, click on here, and then you go to the mixer, go to your first channel, right click, link link selected channels starting from this track and it'll put everything in the mixer i don't need to do that because i've i've already done it now as you can hear let's hear the, listen to the beat again already we can see that that's way too loud see so i'll start mixing from here And then now I'll just go through the next sounds and, and sometimes you've got to pick what you want to be dominant like I usually pick my main melodies I don't know, I have a habit of just cranking my kicks all the way to the top, I don't know, no matter what, it just it always goes all the way to the top. Now I've done the volume, the like the basic volume, like the basic volumes. Now I, what I'll do is I'll come into the mixer. And then even before I start playing with the volume here, I'm gonna start panning. Now panning is having the instruments either left on the left speaker or on the right speaker now let's listen now personally i pad every instrument except for the kick drum and the bass that's always centered but everything else it goes left or right so let's do Let's go for it. Let's.
you can see I've just quickly panned everything everything um, left left or right except for the kick drum um, reason being it gives more like headroom and it gives like space uh, space for like certain sounds to be heard clearly also also for beats it's also good to pan because when vocal comes on top it's easy to place it because there's enough space for the vocals to sit on the, on top so uh, <laughs> Now certain sounds, certain sounds like certain sounds that which are like in high treble, I usually have like in the background. And one one thing I like to do is make sure that my kicks and claps are the loudest. My kick, my kick and snares to be the loudest, and no, no, my kicks and bass to be the loudest, and then my snares and claps to be second loudest, hi hats third hat, third loudest, and the rest of the sounds just all sit uh, sit beneath the kick drum and bass if that makes sense like nothing like if if you listen to all my beats or my mix you you hear that none of the sounds are louder than my kick drum or the bass i don't know i don't know if that's the right way of mixing or but that's just the way i like mixing and i get a lot of good feedback from that so i've just kind of stuck to it um yeah so basically that's a basic video on mixing like the volumes getting the volumes right uh make sure everything's clear and panning as well pan instruments to make to give the beat more space and more room to, to breathe so not everything's compressed in like one lane like each sound has their own lane to breathe in um i hope you watch this video i will put the the, the what's it called i'll put this um flp in the description for you guys to download so you can see how i've mixed it in my next tutorial in my next uh, mixing video we're going to look at uh, mixing uh kicks and 808s thank you for watching